up and ready for our financial class today. I have to wake the baby up too. I hate waking up out of her sleep, but I'm going to have to wake her up because we have to be there in like an hour. So, I got to take Dre's laundry to the laundry mat. I'm going to go ahead and get his stuff out the way. I'm going to come back and organize all his closet stuff today. And, um, oh yeah, I got him like new pillows. So, he has nice and fluffy new pillows. I don't even know if I mentioned that last night or not, but I want, um, for when he comes home that he's as comfortable as possible. I'm probably going to get him a few more pillows just because I know he likes being comfortable in bed. So, I'm going to go and take this stuff downstairs and... Yeah, start my day. Hey guys, <laughs> so I'm on my way to go to this class and hopefully I make it there in time. I know my clock is a little fast, so I know at least I'm gonna be there on time. But uh, Miss Journey's in the back. I got Dre's laundry back there, falling all over her. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh. All right, well, I'm driving. I'll see you in class. Bye. You hear that? What is it? You said it's a bird, right? She's like, bird? It's like, good morning. You still got food on your face. <sighs> but we're uh, heading into this class. Hopefully I can find the building. <sighs> See, it feels different without daddy here, huh? It's different without daddy. You gotta wipe your face. <laughs> face the mess. You just had oatmeal for breakfast. So face that fear. Do it. A lot of times when people add up their budget and stuff and add up their bills, particularly if you're behind on your bills, it's not nearly as bad as you thought it was when you brought it all down. Hey guys, so I got off the phone with Herrera. And uh, he's the guy that's taking, uh, that took Dre down to his uh, surgery and stuff. He says that he went in for surgery. He's having two surgeries. Thank you. And he's even having a piece of his kidney removed. So, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I'm just kind of blown away that they actually need to take a piece of his kidney. Um, but he went into surgery about noon, and I just got out of the financial class, so he's been in for about an hour. And he said he's doing okay, he hasn't gotten any calls yet. And they told him that he couldn't even like stay there. He could probably wait in the waiting room, but he's not allowed to see him until visiting hours, which is weird. I don't know, they just work really differently here. But uh, he's doing okay. He said he'd call me if anything, you know, happens or if anything, whatever news that he gets, he's gonna keep me posted. So I'm trying to stay away from the house. I'm doing Trey's laundry at the laundry mat right now. I'm just trying to stay away from the house because my phone is like, I live in a dead zone, so I had to get no calls. Like he tried calling me four times this morning, and I didn't get not one call. So I don't know. Finally, I called him after the class and was like, "Hey, what's going on?" But that's where we stand right now. Just like a big waiting game. Hopefully, I don't know, 